real possibility, DC, in this matchup that she's going to try to take advantage of what would appear to be an obvious edge on the feet given her Muay Thai back. Yeah, she has a phenomenal background in Muay Thai. She's a great counter striker, allows you to forward pressure into her, and she will drive big knees into you. As she drives those knees and you start to try to evade, here comes the kick. Here comes the double knees, and don't get stuck across the side of the octagon. She will grab that Muay Thai clinch, and once there, yeah. she is just vicious, driving those knees to the body, to the legs, and when you start to worry about them coming low, she starts spinning you and hitting you in the face with knees just like Anderson Silva did to Rich Franklin. It's a sight to behold when a person understands Muay Thai at this level. Yeah, well put. It is all volume, it is all pressure. She truly fights like she is double parked outside. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Caitlin Blood Fighter Jukania. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, fight clock is moving. We are now underway. Going to be interesting to see how this fight stylistically plays. Oh! And she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, nice! And attack an arm bar. Oh, nice job, by Oh, man, that was slick. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their back so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Beautiful level change leads to the take. Well, she has become a master of the single leg takedown here in MMA, and she got it done there once again. She has learned that she can get ahead of her opponent with a single leg finish. She has so many different techniques to finish. Her opponents can't keep up with her. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Two minutes to go. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to 
reverse it. That's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Beautiful punch. Lands the right hand. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab. This fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her hook her bad. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Round two coming up next. Come on, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from, and defensively, she didn't make any adjustments. She didn't make any adjustments. She's standing on a straight line. She's not moving the target. So when her opponent loads up and she throws her punches, she's exactly where she wants her to be. And it's showing in the damage that was done over the course of that round. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Just missing on the uppercut there. What a takedown. Both fighters back to their feet now. Real quick leg kick. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Setting up a sub here. Continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukaki. And in terms of the efficiency, landing with 57% accuracy against Caitlin Chukaki. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. All right, so the fighters in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position. Great timing on that critical case. All right, so she gets the single leg takedown, DC. A nice job to enter and then change the angle to get the fight to the mat. Yes, what a fantastic angle. What Going for the arm here. to go in round two. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get to half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. 
If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. Big kick. Misses with a left hook there. Oh, and she gets the takedown. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's spinning. Going for an arm bar now. up her back here, so a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it, it belongs to you now. And you start to work, try to get to your face and get back to your feet. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Now goes in and secures the takedown. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Wow. So as we call on the numbers, 54 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. Striking at a 57% accuracy rate against Caitlin Chukagi. Good one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable, the variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. What a fight! Hey, stop! All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9-28. We played the winner by unanimous decision, Caitlin Lovaitan! Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight.